You know, some people would put that on YouTube and say, I just seen a UFO. No, you fucking idiot. It's a goddamn plane. Well, I started putting everything in there. I definitely got to get different piping. Which I kind of figured I'm probably going to have to. That's why I told you guys I didn't really want to set a date. But we still might have it running tomorrow. We could probably gather some stuff up for a little bit. Make it work. We'll figure something out. We'll try to get something done. Put it that way. Might have 100 couplers on it. Probably blow everyone of them off. But we might be able to at least get it running. Um, I'll say it. Well... It'll be running anyway tomorrow, because I don't even care if the, I'm not going to let it see boost right away, well, actually I might have to, because some bitch got 440s in it, it's got a tune in it, mock tune, so I mean it's, you know, vase tune I should say, why did I say mock tune, vase tune, now here's a red right line, I mean it needs cut yet, this Thrown in there, sitting in there. So, oh, what else? Yeah, we gotta put a uh... look at that piece of shit. <laughs> Had it sitting up against that. I'm gonna move all that tomorrow. Let Chinese rubber for you. I had it just sitting in there. I mean, that was pressed up against it, so it'd be like having a clamp on it, so you can tell how junk that was. Um, might use some of this braided line for it. Braided line is just cool, because, I don't know, it looks cool, too. It's a little all over the place right now. I'm all about getting the car running, and later on, I'll once I finally get it all done, then I'll start neating it up. Obviously, got to neaten it up. Look at this fucking nest of wires. Um, got my air ram. Well, it'll be here probably Monday. I'll make a video. Um, we got to tap that for the nitrous, but what we might do is take that all off for a little bit until we get, uh, put the air ram on, keep the nitrous off for a little bit, get this wiring all done. Like I've been talking about running them, uh, main power wire into the glove box with relay relays and uh its own uh fuse panel you can get them from like advanced auto and whatnot but i got the bung welder then lung welder then so two lungs welder then um I really don't know if I need to run the narrow bands in with it or not. But, uh. We're gonna find out, huh? I mean, if we don't need to run the narrow bands, we won't. Normally, you don't have to, but. We'll see which way it tunes better. With. I want them in there so I have the option to either tune with the wide band or with the narrow band. So we'll figure out which one tunes better. And hopefully we can eliminate the narrow bands so there's less wire iron we got to worry about and two or two sensors we don't need to worry about. But yeah, I mean, we got piping in there just sitting in there just with like towels and shit on them so no dirt gets up in it. But uh, what I'm thinking about doing is coming up in here and cutting more of that. Cut that son of a bitch clear to the top. Thinking about it. Or not clear the top, clear the bottom, and a little bit falling up to the top. Cut this clear out to up to here, and then run this fight clear up in. Then we'll cut this one. I mean, I'm not sure if you can flip the flow or not. Uh, I don't want to say his name on here because he knows a good bit about. I know he knows a good bit about this stuff. But uh, my buddy in the 350Z, if you're watching me, can I, uh, I'm pretty sure I can use the top for the end, like to go into the throttle body and use the bottom. You can reverse these, can't you? I'm pretty sure you can. Or anybody watching. I can't remember right now. Me, 
I when I ran these any other time on any other vehicle, I always use the top to go into the turbo and then the bottom. So maybe I was doing it wrong all the time. So there's something maybe somebody can tell me today. What the hell is that? It looks weird. No, uh, it's just like more shinier on one end. Look weird on camera. Like this right here is like a coating and that right there. I don't know. It's weird looking. But Slim Fan sitting in there. I should get one more. Um, Please have it fired up tomorrow. Put the wide band in it. I don't know. I'll probably fire it up. It might, I mean, we got to put the gauge in it. I'm going to at least get it up off the ground finally. Man, I don't know if I can or not. Yeah, yeah, I can get it off the ground. It doesn't really matter if I'm got the car on the ground. It's the front bumper ain't going to be on. Ah, boy. Yeah, because if we could do it that way, I think I'm just going to run everything into there. Just have this come up more, put another 90 in here. I think we could put two 90s in here and fit them. Maybe not. I don't know. I got to fuck mess with it tomorrow i've been working a lot cutting fucking wood I haven't been really working on cars this week <laughs> you gotta make that money for the race car the race car needs its money son of a bitch sure as hell eats it like i told you guys like a lot of this stuff was budget from the jump and i told you it wouldn't take me long to start to be like i don't want that on my car Still need oil in it. We'll try the GT mag attack this time. Anybody got a type of oil like to run with turbos, let me know. I really just don't give a shit. I run Walmart, GTX, I don't give a shit. I'll run anything. But anybody's got a certain oil they think is better for a turbo car, let me know. Especially because you know I'm going to beat the guts out of this fucking thing. <laughs> you guys got any like i said just let me know in the comments what oil you think i should run might make the life of this engine a little longer who knows we're gonna get a couple of them i'm gonna buy three brand new sets of fucking uh 1.8 pistons goal was to have three engines and also one goal was to break one of them really don't want to break the original engine even though it don't really matter I mean, like it's gonna ever be on be a classic but we really don't want to throw raw out the block so the the motor over the mock-up motor over there it'll probably be the one that gets uh brutalized so when we throw the one eights up into that and put the new head on it put new gaskets and everything in it probably put a new oil pump in it make sure well eh, i don't need new oil pump it'll be fine um yeah probably use that one and then we'll just you know we'll just beat the shit out of it and uh keep turning it up keep turning it up and then once it breaks that'll let us know where the weak point of the one eight pistons are or rods or even if it was the rod you know um i still need to put uh i still need to might buy that head off my buddy yet still don't know yet we haven't agreed on a price yet so uh he wants a certain price and I don't really want to pay that. Um it would help these things out a lot. It's cold as fuck. Would help um these things out a lot because our heads flow like shit. But uh I don't know. I ain't trying to break myself on that. I mean, the price of that and then the money I'm gonna have in it. Jesus. I could build three of these beta motors, three bottom ends. <coughs> I don't know if it's worth it for me. I can just buy DSM dual valve springs and put in it and find them all day long in the DSM groups, forums and shit for dirt cheap. Or hell, you can even run the stock valves, springs, hell, the stock valve, uh, second gen head. People run 700 horsepower on a second gen head. Hell, you'll see guys throw the six bolt, have a six bolt and they'll throw a second gen seven bolt head on it every time. Flows better. That's what guys do with the beta too. You can put a beta 2 head on this thing, guys, and flow better. Just to make sure it's non-CVVT or whatever the fuck. CVVT, I think, is what it is. Um, I never fuck with those yet. I doubt if I ever will. 
I like my RD2s and like my RDs. Oh, I'll get a GK. Might have a GK. Might have something in the works yet. I'll let you guys know. Don't want to get anybody. If I get one, we're going to get one in the Delta. Just Even though I talk a lot of... I don't really talk people in the Delta, guys. It's just... I mean... Hyundai is different enough. You might as well start with the best platform they got, which is the Beta. But I'm not going to try to rock knock anybody for it. I mean, that's not what I'm trying to do. It might come off like that, but I'm not trying to be. Sometimes somebody that, that tries to help people out sometimes can come off as a fucking... Uh, know it all or an asshole <laughs> but i think we got enough room down there now i kinked and bent the shit out of it uh if not i think i'll cut the bottom off of it and flap it the other way and throw some cheap harbor freight welds on it as i'm not going back up to my uncle's to get it done i hate going up there get watched welding <laughs> i mean i don't know if he's just yeah long story let's not even get into that um Let's see. Man, we gotta get these. Uh, that'll give us time too to get the mounts right. Gotta get rid of this cheap ass. Look at this cheap shit. Look, look at that cheap shit. Chinese stuff. Don't think I'm fucking racist because I keep saying cheap Chinese shit. I'm not racist. It's just, man, that is junk, right? Plain and obvious. Um, good thing is about the air ram. We might just wait to even really do a lot here. <laughs> be honest with you guys. Might wait until Monday until we get the air ramp. Air ramp has an extra back line too. So we, we wouldn't even have to tap nothing else for the for the gate or anything. So that would that'd be pretty cool. So we might just wait. I don't know. Be honest with you. It's pissing me off. I'm probably going to have to wait anyway for this fucking piping. This, this piping is pissing me off. I'm going to try to make it work for you guys so we can do some pulls in it. No way, dear, you guys don't have to wait another two weeks, and hard to tell what the weather is going to be in two more weeks. I mean, hell, it's already November. Hey, this is my busiest time of the year. Like I said, I cut firewood, so you get, uh, at least you get money, right? Money for videos. God knows I'll never get paid for YouTube videos. <laughs> Not a guy in a cell phone. Even if I got to a thousand, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get enough viewers to watch anything. But that ain't what I'm here for. I'm here to help you Hyundai guys as much as I can. And my know-it-all self. <laughs> oh, shit. We got to cut that. See the hose right there, how it's wrapping around like that? This really needs to be mounted over to here. I guess what I'm going to have to do, because I was trying to find a bracket for that. I lost the bracket to it. I'll just get a piece of metal like that, that flimsy as cheap metal, and just drill holes in it and put it back here. I just, I don't know. I just like having factory shit. It's an easy thing to do. Just a piece of metal like this long, put a lip on the one in it, drill two holes in it, lip on the other in it, and mount it. You know what I mean? Well, you mount it, and then it's not hard, but some people are like, yeah, but you can say you built that, that mount, and... To me, I look at it and get, man, it looks like shit. <laughs> but like that wiring looks like hell. That wiring helps out when you come to racing. People always want to pop the hood. I don't pop my hood ever, but it helps some. Like even when you show people, they don't really take you serious if you got something like that. And then you come pulling out bus links on fucking. I don't know. I haven't been beat by a front wheel drive car yet. Trying not to get beat by K's. I haven't raced a K. I mean, obviously, K would beat me. Most K's at turbocharged are usually at least 400 oars. I don't think there's no use in... You might as well just push them right to the fore. Any more than that, the transmissions go boom. Yeah, I built them. I think carbon synchronizers and maybe it's solid... Or no synchronizers or something. Fuck if I remember. 
too much too much car stuff but all right guys cold as hell rambling about nothing looks cool though right that's a big fucking intercooler i don't care what anybody says that's weird looking it's like someone sanded it or painted it you know what i mean but there's nothing wrong with it weird looking on camera i i didn't see it until i took a picture earlier from my buddy I'll show you his. I'll put a pic of his in there. Of his intercooler. And his is an RD. But he went both ways. So. And I'm pretty sure that's what he did too. He. This went to the. Um, to the. Throttle body. And this one down. I haven't used one of these in so long. And like I said. The last two cars I helped. Turbo. Were GKs. One was a. Delta and the other one was a Beta 2. And the front ends are a little different. You know what I mean? The wrap around. And he did a pretty good job of... Uh, he bought the... Oh, I can't... Ah, you guys with the GKs would know uh, the name brand intercooler kits for these. They still make a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but they still make a good... There's companies out there that still have parts, put it that way, for the GK. But all right... Enough rambling. Peace out.